Hey, what is going on guys? Hex coming up back again today with our brand new video and as always down in the title below will be the top we're talking about today in episode 10 of World End in Orsuka Suka. So I did not expect a marriage proposal in this episode. I absolutely positively did not expect that. Definitely leave down in the comments below your guys' thoughts on that. I did not think of that. So now we have Chital and well, well they're engaged. No ring, but they're engaged. They she accepted that and yeah, I did not think I would see a marriage proposal in the show. Maybe see them be together. But no, they're skipping being the boyfriend girlfriend. Hell, they haven't even kissed yet. And they're getting married. They're getting hitched. And so the thing with that scene was, I want to know what is making Chitali suffer. It's, it's a weapon that can only kill humans. And so that means what? That means the humans are making her suffer? Who's making her suffer? I'm so confused. Who is making her suffer? Is it the guy? Is it that one guy that he, the old man he talked to that used to be the little kid that looked up to him in the past? Who is it? Who, what is making them suffer? I, I, if we, I just need a little bit more context. But in this episode, I think we clearly find out that this is Lilia's body. This is someone that Wilhelm used to work with. I'm pretty sure that was the redhead girl that Wilhelm used to work with. This is her body. And she says she has to kill that girl that was in, well, that's been in her dream, in her whatever you want to call it, whenever she freak, whenever she saw it freaks out. It's been in her conscious, that girl, red, redheaded little girl in her consciousness. That is who Lilia wants to kill in order to save the world. So what's up with that? So, I mean, we all know what's coming. We know that we see it in the opening. It's clear. We saw in the very beginning of the first episode whenever they did that little flash, you know, time skip and show us what's to come. We clearly see that Chitali's hair is going to be completely red. It seems that Chitali is going, going to be a little bit of a different person. Now, is the person that he's engaged with and or just asked to marry going to be Chitali in the end? That's something that we really got to focus in on here now. I'm really interested to see what the hell is going to happen with that. I'm so I'm just so fascinated, you know, fascinated as to what's going to be coming next, man. I, I, I We know what's coming. But we don't know what it is in context, you know. So, yeah, I'm super excited to see what's going to happen next. And I, am I, is my heart going to be crushed or not? Ep next episode, man, it's going to be crazy. Like, oh my gosh, man. So, the question still remains. Is he going to min end up marrying Chitali and or Lilia? What do you guys think? Once again, leave down the comments below. What are your guys' thoughts on that matter? But at the same time, I really wonder, you know, Lilia does state that, you know, I, I need to kill you for the one I love and all, you know, all this stuff. So clearly Wilhelm's the one she, you know, the one she loves, and maybe that's why Chitali feels such a great connection to Wilhelm also. And so is is it kind of a win-win situation for Wilhelm? Is that the girl that he used to love too? Is that the one that he used to have a thing for? Obviously, five hundred years past, so he knows she's gone. But what, is that the one he loves? I, I, I'm interested. You know, I'm wondering your guys' thoughts too. Once again, I wonder if Wilhelm feels the same way. Is this a kind of a win-win for Wilhelm? Who knows? It's kind of a conflict of interest. I mean, if, if there are two in one person, I mean I, 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 I mean, I don't know. But her last name, does anyone else find it like kind of like Asplay or Ozplay? Please tell me it's Ozplay. There's only one S there. If it's Asplay, I, I was just like, oh man, this sounds so bad. But nonetheless, so we found out that these, you know, these beasts that were created and destroyed the surface, they were biological weapons. And so they're, they're, they were solely made for fighting. But to fight, who was the question? Who were they made to fight? Were they made to fight other humans? Why? Did the humans just wipe themselves out because they found out they couldn't control these weapons, these creatures, these beasts? What were they made to fight? Was there an, is there an enemy that was bigger than the humans, bigger than the, the beasts in and of themselves? What were they made to fight? And that, you know, I mean, because if humans made them, what were the humans trying to fight? So, n not really too much information, some big information here, not really too much information here. So, sorry for the short video, I think this is going to be right around, what, four minutes? But, um... I'm dying to know you guys' thoughts. I'm dying to see what happens next. So be sure to leave a like, come subscribe, and check out my Patreon. Check out my Twitter, X25. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.